Hello, this tutorial is for fifth grade lesson number seven called text and prompts. Let's go ahead and click on number one to begin. This is a prediction puzzle, which means that you don't actually have to complete a, uh, a puzzle or a program, uh, but rather to look at the program that is already existing here and make a prediction. This program lets you answer a question by typing with your keyboard. The print block shows text on the screen. Make a prediction. What will happen after answering the question? The question here is, what is your name? After this program runs, do you think A, the program will print hello name, or B, the program will greet you with the name you type in, or C, the sprite will change sizes, or D, the computer will ask another question. So what do you think will happen if you type your name in here and then click Run? A, B, C, or D. Make a decision. Choose which one you think is going to happen. Click the program Run, and then the computer will tell you if you chose correctly or not. Go ahead and make a, a choice and then move on to puzzle number two. Puzzle number two is a video. Let's go ahead and watch this right now. And I will turn the volume down. You already know how Sprite Lab can be used to put sprites on the screen and make them move or interact with the user. If you want your program to tell a story or give the user some instructions, you'll need to add text. Sprite Lab has a print block that puts messages on the screen. Let's drag it out and type in something to show. Print blocks work great with event blocks, including the ones you've already learned. To make your text more interactive, you'll need to understand a little bit about variables. A variable is a container, like a box, except instead of storing objects, it can store information, like text or numbers. Just like a box, it's important to label the variable to know what's inside. To use the information inside the variable, you'll need to remember the label you gave it. When a computer wants to collect information, it uses a prompt. In Sprite Lab, this prompt block asks the user a question and stores whatever they type inside a variable. To use the information from the prompt right away, drag out the when answered block. To show the information on the screen, connect the variable block to the print block. You can also combine that information with other texts. Now your program can ask the user a question and generate a personalized response. Adding text to your program can make it more engaging. With variables, you can prompt the user for information, then store it for later. Programs that use variables can give us a more customized and interactive experience. Go ahead and click continue here. So the video gave you quite a bit of information, but I hope that what you're understanding is that what we're going to be practicing for this unit will actually make your program more interactive. The instructions here say, quick review. In this lesson, we will be learning a lot about adding text to your project. Before that, let's practice something that you've already learned. I'm scrolling here and says, do this. Bullet, make two sprites with different costumes. Bullet, give each sprite a different location. So if I go to sprites and grab the sprite block, right now there's a grasshopper. They asked me to get two of them, so I'm going to get a second one. But I got to change the second one so it doesn't match the first one. I also notice that one of them is on top of the other, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this little icon on the end and choose a different spot for the third one, for the second one, I mean. Uh, let's see it also. I'm also, I'm also going to change the location of the first one. I'm going to put him right up here on the fence, right there, and then click Run, because that's all they asked us to do. 
Click continue. That was puzzle number three. It is very important that you only do what the puzzle asks you to do. Puzzle number four, and notice that what we created for puzzle number three is still here. Number four says printing text. To make text appear on the screen, you can use the print block. Print block looks like this. Print and then quotation, uh, question marks in quotations. The next part of the program says do this. Find the print block in the world category and add it to your program. Let's do that first. In the world category, there's the print block. I found it. The next thing says type a message into the right side of the block and make the text appear above your sprites. So here I need to type something like what's up. Add it to your program. Let's go ahead and add it. And as soon as I click run, those words should show up. And there they are. Click run. Let's continue. Now we're gonna now now that we've added text, we're gonna try to make that text more interactive. Here's puzzle number five. Using texts with events. To make more text appear on the screen over time, you'll need to use events. Events, of course, are down here. They are these green blocks. Let's see what they ask us to do. Bullet, choose any block from the events category and add it to your program. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this, the first one here, the one that says at three seconds. Bullet, connect a new print block under the event. So that was in world. Here's the print. They're asking us to add this over here. Run your program and make the second message appear after the first. So what should I say with the second message? Um, what's that? Nothing. You. Now notice that this message, the word nothing, you, will not appear until after three seconds. So click run. And then watch the clock. One, two, three. And then the second message showed up over time. Let's go ahead and stop here. I'm going to go ahead and click keep playing. Please make sure that you did, in fact, make a prediction for puzzle number one so this bubble turns green. Make sure that everything is bright green all the way through puzzle number five, and we can stop code right now.